When I road tested the all-new BMW X7 last year, the largest car the Bavarians have ever made, I came away very impressed by the entry-level X-Drive 30D model as it delivered possibly the best 7-seat interior on the market, drove like a proper luxury car, and presented surprisingly good value for what it is. But when it came to the hotted-up diesel version of the X7, I felt it came across as a rather confused car with no clear buyer in mind, having this to say about it. Now, I do think the M50D you're gonna be a really odd sort of person to buy one of them. I'm not sure exactly who's gonna go for that one. Yeah. Well, to see if I could try and figure out who the M50D is actually aimed at, I got my hands on the one that you see here, and I've just spent the past week with it. And while I haven't figured out an exact demographic for it, I have figured out what makes this thing so absolutely brilliant, even if it might not appear to be all that different on the surface. You see, right off the bat, it doesn't really look a whole lot different to the normal X7. I mean, yes, the front bumper's a little bit more aggressive. We've got some big 22-inch wheels on it. These are the BMW individual ones. Lots of M badges everywhere, all that sort of thing. That's nothing out the ordinary for a BMW, quite frankly. And while it might not look a whole lot different on the outside, this is worth nearly 50 grand more than the entry-level model at $170,000 in base form. And that's before options or on-road costs. So it's a pretty expensive thing for something that doesn't exactly look a whole lot different. I mean, you could mistake it for just being some sort of M Sport model if you didn't know. On the inside as well, the story isn't all that different to the last one that I was in. Now, there are a couple of added little touches that I should point out. The one that stands out most, because it's one of the first things you're going to touch when you get inside here, is this crystal shift knob. It is so cool, this thing. And the iDrive control, the start button, and the volume knob are all in this crystal finish too. There's a little X logo inside it that lights up. I just think it looks gorgeous. It's a really lovely touch. The other thing you do get as well is in the sunroof, there are these little dots and at night, they all light up matching the color of the ambient interior lighting in the car, which is configurable as well. And it just looks absolutely stunning. These seats in this particular M50D, which has basically all the options added, are wonderful. Not only do they have heating and ventilation, but they have a massage function as well with so many different settings. Just absolutely fantastic seats up front. You don't get the massage in the back, unfortunately, but all three rows of seats are heated at least, and you have five zone climate control, just like in the X-Drive 30D. So yeah, still a fantastic place to be. So again, there are a couple of subtle little differences in here compared to the 30D, but it's all same old, same old. and doesn't really scream $50,000 premium yet. Now from behind the wheel, it's all much the same as in the normal X7 as well. I mean, you've got the same five level adaptive air suspension, which you can fully slam out so you can park hard or lift it all the way up for some off-roading which no one who buys one of these will ever do. But it does mean that you have the same superb ride. It really does absorb bumps nicely, this thing. And it helps this car show far more sophisticated body control than you would expect it to. I mean, the roll through corners, it's definitely present, but it's well managed. And the vast majority of the bumps aren't transferred through to the cabin. I mean, there are some that definitely make their way through because of the 22 inch wheels and low profile tires on the M version. But aside from that, the ride is absolutely lovely. When you pop it into sport mode too, it noticeably firms up and tightens up everything about the car, not just the suspension, which is probably the most noticeable thing. It feels borderline agile when you do have it in sport mode. It remains 
shockingly flat for a car this big and this heavy. But it also sharpens the throttle response significantly, firms up the steering significantly. It's a big change. But to be honest, the best place to be is with it just set in comfort mode, cruising along, got my heated seat on, I put on my level three back massage. Yeah, this is the life. The life of someone with far more money than I have. <laughs> but in one dramatic way, the M50D is significantly different to the 30D that I drove last year. And that's because what's under the bonnet is less akin to an engine and more so to a thermonuclear bomb. While the M50D may feature the same basic 3 litre straight 6 diesel engine, yes, diesel, that the regular 30D features, BMW has fitted it with, count them up, one, two, three, four turbochargers to help it deliver a whopping 294 kilowatts and 760 newton meters. Yep, that's right, this thing is quad turbocharged. And when you think about it, quad turbo, all wheel drive, it's basically a Bugatti Chiron for people with kids. It's just stupendously good. 0 to 100 takes a mere 5.4 seconds. And through this twisty section, it's just so composed. I mean, you forget that this is a seven seat vehicle that's the size of a mansion. You can fit adults in the back row, yet it goes <laughs> like a bloody rocket. And all the while that this is happening, I'm getting a massage. I'm getting a massage right now and my coffee nice and toasty warm in my heated cup holder. This is a truly astonishingly good car. It's a lot of money. I'm not going to pretend that it's affordable <laughs> in any way. Uh, $170,000 plus. That's before on-roads, before options. This is an expensive car and it is for people with far more money than cents, this thing. And I maintain, as a performance car, performance SUV, whatever you want to look at it as, as a seven seat family hauler, it's a weird car. But do you know what? That's wherein the magic of this car lies. It's just that it's different. It's so different and in such a brilliant way. I mean, no one has ever thought to themselves, yes, I need a quad turbo diesel seven seater but you want one. You know you want one, now that I've told you that. You want one, and this is the one you want. Primarily because it's the only one that exists, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, buying one, you don't need it. You only buy one of these to flex. That's why I was sort of in that mindset when I drove the 30D of thinking, oh yeah, this is really good value, surprisingly, for such an expensive car. But where the M50D comes in, it's just something you buy because you can. That's what I was trying to figure out at the time. And now that I've driven this, I know that's the case. And man, if you can buy one, <laughs> do it do it because this is insanely fun. Emphasis on the insane. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.